Hello and welcome at this series about Sitecore Basics. In this video we are going to look at how to publish a page. Publishing a page can be done from both the content editor and the experience editor. I have my homepage of my site here and when I'm going to the anonymous version um, it looks like this so it's pretty much the same. And here I have added a piece of text and I'm going to publish this change. So on the home tab I click on it and I have a publish option here and I have a, a number of options that I can use before publishing. You can choose for smart publish which means that only differences between the one that you are working on right now here in the background and the one that is available online um, will be published or you can republish just everything. I usually use this one because it's a little bit faster um, especially when you are trying to publish large amounts of page, republishing everything will take much longer than republishing just or publishing just the changes. So keep that in mind. And you will also have the option to publish sub items or related items. You know, I'm, I'm only going to publish this item, so I leave it for now. And I only have an English version, so I don't need to add other languages. But if you use multiple languages and you have made changes for them, you should add those languages as well. I'm clicking on the publish button and it's going to be published. So when it's finished, it will give you a quick summary of the results. Um, there are no items created and that's correct because I don't have created new items. No ones are deleted. There was one updated and one skipped. So let me close this one and when we're switching back to the home page of the anonymous version and I refresh this page, you can see that my piece of text is now added to this page. Another way is switching, uh, is do it from the content editor. So I'm switching to the content editor here and select my home page. Well, let's select page one. Um, when we're looking at page one in the anonymous version, it has no content. And when I'm switching back, um, I can add a piece of text here. Let's do some Lorem Ipsum text, accept that. And I'm not going to save it, but I immediately going to publish it. I right click on the item and then choose publish item. And it asks me if it needs to be saved. And yes, I want to save it. And then he is asking me the same things. That's good for now. Let's publish it. Hit close. And then we're going to check it on this page by refreshing it. And as you can see, my Lorem Ipsum text has been added. So this is the way how you can publish your changes to the anonymous version of your website. 